met at Hinkley Park the summer before high school began. We continued our friendship into college, and during a visit to Marquette, Catherine had mentioned that she met a guy from Wisconsin. I was very excited, maybe more than Al, to be the judge, jury, and executioner of how this relationship would go. Al, the gentleman he is, got her a drink, didn't buy me one. Once I finally saw Catherine and Al together, I noticed how well they balance each other out. Al has a very cool, calm, and collected demeanor, which meshes so well with Catherine's bubbly and vibrant personality. I figured I should leave them alone, and I remember when I was walking out, I thought to myself, Al seemed genuinely interested and happy being with her, and as most of you know, Al is about as stoic as they come, so he's not easy to read, and there's not a whole lot of emotion that comes out of him. And for me to say that, that's, you know, that's something. <laughs> Catherine is such a generous, fun, loving girl, on top of being an incredible realtor, if anyone's looking to move to the Milwaukee area. <laughs> and I have zero doubt that you two are just starting an amazing journey together. I am confident that her positivity and Al's selflessness will guide them through life's challenges and triumphs. Catherine, ever since you were a little girl, I always believed that the man you married would be the luckiest guy in the world. One thing a father wants for his daughter is to marry a man who will take care of her as well and as lovingly as he did when he's no longer around. So yeah, Al's the luckiest guy in the world, but so am I. Cause I can't fight this feeling anymore. Catherine and Alex have had a thoroughly modern courtship. They met on a dating app back when doing so was nowhere near as commonplace as it is today. They eventually met in person at a Milwaukee watering hole popular with people their age. That meeting took place September 4th, 2015, exactly six years ago today. Initially, it was a little bit of big city girl meets small town boy. In several years of urban life, the two would decide to buy a house together in Thienesville. Today they will take the step that officially begins a new phase of their life's journey together. It is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. <laughs> Alex, you may kiss the bride. Thank you.